hit the like button for YouTube algorithm, get free stocks links in the description, thank you so much. JP Morgan Chase Bulls say JP Morgan has emerged as arguably the most dominant bank in the United States. With leading share in many aspects of banking and financial services, the bank should be in an advantaged position for years to come. Scale is becoming more important as regulatory and technological costs rise, improving JP Morgan Chase's competitive position. Over the past decade, JP Morgan's management team has performed better than virtually all of its large global peers. Bears say Reversion to the mean seems to be a powerful force in the competitive banking industry, and there is no reason why JP Morgan should be permanently immune to the kinds of problems that have cropped up at its competitors. COVID-19 will be devastating for the economy, and likely devastating for the banks, there is no way to know for sure how hard the banks will get hit or how bad things might get. It's difficult to quantify potential exposures, let alone losses, created by the firm's trading activities, as evidenced by the London Whale incident. Analyst Ratings Buy, 46% Hold, 50% Sell, 4% Market Cap, 296.51 billion Average Volume, 25.58 million Dividend Yield, 3.7% Goldman Sachs Bulls say Several of the company's primary US and European competitors have been forced to restructure, which could give Goldman an opportunity to gain market share. The company has a record of success with higher volume lower margin businesses, and this capability could prove useful in adapting to over-the-counter derivatives reform and changes in the fixed income trading landscape. More stable investment management and net interest income could cause investors to reassess the company's earnings quality and increase their willingness to pay a premium for it. Bears say, while Goldman is in a better capital position than it was in the past and has a shifting business mix, it may take a while for the market to give the company credit for the changes. All else equal, lower leverage compared with the company's past reduces returns to shareholders. Goldman is unlikely to meet the financial goals that it laid out at the beginning of 2020 for an extended period, given the global slowdown. Analyst Ratings Buy, 60% Hold, 40% Sell, 0% Market Cap, 67.57 billion Average Volume, 3.92 million Dividend Yield, 2.54% Check my Amazon affiliate links in the description below. As always be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments, be sure to smash that like button. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will catch you in the next video.